Hey guys, it's Minette again with Technique Time Tuesday. I'm here for another tutorial, and this month we're going to be using the faux cloisonné technique, which is really hard to say, but it gives this really nice detailed look down here where it's kind of shiny, and then you've got the embossing, so it's like a double shine. Let me see if I can give you, do you see that? Isn't that nice? So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, the first thing that you're going to need is a glossy magazine page. And uh, if you get any, you can get a ton of free gardening magazines that have all these awesome glossy pages. And I'm going to be using this part right down here to create another leaf like I did in this on this card. These ones were actually made out of um, images of tulip leaves. So um, I found something similar to them because obviously I used all of these. <laughs> um, but anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your page, you're going to take an image, I've got this nice leaf image, you're going to ink it up with some VersaFine, VersaMart ink, ink it up really, really good. And then, you know what, that looks like it's too small. I'm actually going to use over here then. I'm going to stamp and make sure that it doesn't slide a lot. Just firm pressure directly off of your sheet is how you're going to want to lift that. Then you're going to want to take some embossing powder. And I'm using some um, detail embossing powder and it's gold. You could use another uh, metallic color. You could use black. You could use white. Make sure you don't just use clear because you're going to want to be able to see that image. And then I always tap my excess off into an embossing buddy. And if you have um, one of those little static things, you can take it and rub it across first, but I found I don't really need to. Now can you see where the leaf is going to be? And so I'm going to emboss this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have embossed my leaf. Do you see that? It's kind of hard because it's so shiny. So I've embossed my leaf here on the tomato. And the next step is to cut it out. And you could leave some around it, but I found that actually cutting right up around the dry embossing is better because that way it looks more like it's this little enamel leaf that you made. And um, be very careful as you do it. Go slowly. Don't try and, you know, rush it. And it's really cool because as you're doing this, you can actually feel the embossing act as a sort of shield for it. So I'm going to finish cutting that out, and then I'll be back and show you. Okay, so now you can see my finished flow faux cloisonne. See, I have such problems saying that. Leaf, see how shiny and pretty that is? I'm going to kind of zoom in. Do you see and see how it's those nice fall colors? It might be nice, too, to do, like, some blues and greens and leaves with silver embossing for, like, a winter tree type thing. Make them look icy. But anyway, so after I did this and I cut all of mine out, I added them to my card. And here's my finished project once again. Happy Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving is going to be coming up soon. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, adhere it to your card however you want. I use dimensional dots. You can just use tape runner or whatever you want to use. Um, but it's so simple, so quick, and it's so elegant. I hope you join us for our, our challenge this month. It runs until the end of October. And until next time, happy stamping, friends.